they were talking about Megan Thee Stallion and how she's being sued by her cameraman. He is not into all of that freakiness, apparently. So we're going to listen to it here. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Beauty by Jen. If you have or if you haven't been here, welcome either way. He said drop more content and I'm doing it. I'm trying to keep my numbers up. So here we go. Today we're talking about Megan the Stallion and how she's being sued by her cameraman. He is not into all of that freakiness apparently. So we're going to listen to it here. I put all the information in the description box. Please like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. Help me get my numbers up and let's not waste any more time. Let me get to that for you guys now. I'm a Tonight, bombshell allegations against one of the biggest names in rap music. Megan Thee Stallion is being sued by her former cameraman who is accusing her of harassment and a hostile work environment. In a lawsuit filed today in L.A. County Superior Court, Emilio Garcia claims he accompanied Megan Thee Stallion on a 2022 trip to Ibiza. According to the lawsuit, Garcia says he was riding in a car with the rapper and three other women after a night of partying when Megan began having sex with one of those women right next to him. In the lawsuit, Garcia says he was embarrassed, mortified, and offended and claims the next day the music star told him, quote, don't ever discuss what you saw. In a statement, an attorney for Megan Thee Stallion tells NBC News this is an employment claim for money with no sexual harassment claim filed and with salacious accusations to attempt to embarrass her. We will deal with this in court. Megan Thee Stallion, whose real name is Megan Pete, is known for publicly championing body positivity. I definitely just want, you know, my fans and my supporters to feel like, you know what, girl, Megan Thee Stallion said I'm fine, so I must be fine. But in his lawsuit, Garcia also alleges the star repeatedly shamed him for his appearance, calling him fat and telling him to spit his food out. Garcia goes on to say once they returned from the Ibiza trip, his work agreements were restructured to pay him less, and Megan and her team began booking him for fewer jobs before eventually terminating him last summer. The plaintiff's stronger allegations are not so much the sex in the car, but the subsequent alleged fat shaming and verbal insults. And the plaintiff's lawyers know that a single isolated incident may not be enough for a hostile work environment. That's why they're alleging this additional maltreatment, like being fat shamed. Big old freak, huh? Big booty. A three-time Grammy Award winner who embraces her sexuality in her music. I said I certified freak is now being accused of taking that behavior too far. And Garcia tells NBC News that he is seeking unpaid wages, interest on those wages, attorney fees, and more. He says in all, he's seeking more than six figures in damages. All right, so we saw that. So I don't know. What are you guys, what are you guys' opinions on this? Um, you know, we know that Megan has gone through a lot, not having a mother and a father and how she has gone through the whole, you know, being shot in the foot thing and everything and the whole legal situation with that. So, hey, what do you guys think about it? Please leave your comments in the comment section. Again, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.